Dude. Comic fam, thank you for joining us today. I'm here with Fire Guy Ryan. How you doing, man? I am here. We're sorting comics. We are. We did a, did a bunch of filing. We haven't done that in forever. Dude, we completely redid the whole back end. It, you can't see it. It's behind me. It's behind Ryan. But all the comic books behind us are brand new. We took a bunch of them down. We actually have one that we're going to do as a giveaway today. And we will announce it on our next Q&A. Because we're going to try to do this at least once a month. Sure. Why not? Uh, but we have ASM. It's the annual. It is. It's awesome. It's a nice little symbiote story. It's a variant as well. Is this the variant? I don't think this is the variant. I don't think it's the variant. This is not the... It's the cover by Gabriel Del Auto, though, and it's, it's a really cool. beautiful cover. And pretty much the way that you can qualify to win this, you just got to comment on the video. And make sure you do it, not in the chat, but Live in, chat the, doesn't in the count. video. Because we're going to keep that going. We're going to keep it going. But we're doing a Q&A today. And thank you so much to the comic community who are currently joining us right now. We're going to jump right into some questions we asked on Instagram, but we will refer to the chat here in a bit and say hi. Please, Ryan. Please. Questions question someone asked you a question i want to hear a question Multiple or me people. whatever let's let's just make it happen let's just start let's do it who gets the first one though how do i how do i how do i choose which one of you is the coolest one to start with speaking of starting let's do that let's start with do you have beans do i have beans uh, mm-hmm. currently that's not I the do. question that's his name oh do i have beans? that would be an like, awesome question let me see if i have beans because technically we call rainbow the cat beans rainbow's name is beans so we do have beans so we do have beans and i do eat of the cat. beans a lot as well i know i smell them Best Green Lantern to start with. I'm new to the Lantern Corps. Okay, that's a good question, Ryan. I have gotten this question like Where do you five start? to ten times since we did our podcast. The, you know, the podcast dropped yesterday with the Green Lantern thing and the and the HBO news. People have been asking me what is a good Green Lantern to start with, and I always say Green Lantern Secret Origin by Jeff Johns. Why do you say that? Because it's a uh, a modern origin story of Green Lantern. Like if you have no idea who the character is or anything Green Lantern, that storyline will give you everything you need to go. Everything you need to know to get started. Uh, case closed. Case closed. Green Lantern, Secret Origin. Secret Origin. Is there a second choice? Like once you finish Secret Origin, where you would suggest them going? Probably Green Lantern Rebirth and then just read the entire Jeff Johns run. Yeah, Jeff Johns. That's a, a good recommendation. That's a also a good recommendation for Aquaman. If you're looking for some good Aquaman Jeff Johns to get, is to a really get good, your feet wet. Yeah, he's like... Mm. Water mm-hmm. puns. That was beautiful. How that's long did you good. think that before you said it? I was it? sitting here waiting, waiting for, for you. It? Yeah. That's cute. <laughs> okay. Um, so here's a one for a, a question from um, Azor Stigger. Let's see. What some books that you haven't been able to get for your PC yet? Some books I haven't been able to get for my PC yet. That's a better question for you. Yeah. You know, I haven't really been hunting a whole lot of books as of late, but some that I haven't been able to get yet is a 9.6 or better Dime Press 4. I've owned a 9.6 before, but never a 9.8. No, I've owned a 9.6. I've never gotten the 9.8. The highest graded copy I've gotten is a 9.6. I'm lo- the- I've been waiting for that 9.8 to pop up, but I don't, I'm not going to be able to afford it. It's the prototype Italian of one. Yeah, the Italian. Miniature. We just I did all those. I did all the scripting for that podcast you guys did. It's been like two weeks, and already I forgot all those, all those Hellboy things. That Captain Shipwreck, all the, those pictures with all those first appearances he has. Right. For like one day, I had all those straight in my head, and now that information is all gone. Well, it's a cool book. I've had raw copies. I've had graded copies. The highest one was a nine six, but. Nine eights go for such an absurd amount of money. Like the price hike between that nine six to nine eight has always been drastic because it's an Italian mag- like miniature, and it's really hard to find in those, just like really mint. It's probably not that many of freshy them. ones. No, not so much. Minty um, fresh. Oh, here's one from Perry Comics, and he's the current wrench Perry. right now. So that's pretty cool. He's scallywag. Um, I want to know. He wants to know when. Uh, this is a question for you. Uh oh. When is John? When is John going to finally talk to you about Lost? Like, when are you guys <laughs> going to finally break down and talk Lost? Because we know, know. you both, both are big. We fans. both love it, and we never have, we never, we never have gone on the on the air to talk about it. Not once. He's a good friend of ours. He helps edit the blog, and he's Thank you, you know, John. A, you know, he's he's a great member of the community. John's comics with kids, by the way. If you yeah. don't know him, follow follow him. He's, Shout out, Kane and Charlie. Fantastic. Exactly. Whole family over there is great, and we actually are going to be talking about Lost soon. We have a for the season, first time for the very first time. Oh my goodness. That's Ryan. a lie. We have a season six uh, breakdown okay. video we're going to be doing probably in the next week. Okay. What do you got over there? Read another question and I'm going to look for one here. Beep, 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 beep. Oh man. There's so many good. There's so many good ones. Oh, come on. I know you, you know you got a good one here. I'm looking through this chat <laughs> and remind you everybody we're doing a Q&A. So if you want something answered, throw it in the, in the chat. Well, maybe we'll get to it. 
Captain Shipwreck, I was just just mentioned to you. He asked me a question. You can have your Grail book, but never own another comic again. Do you take it? You can have your Grail book. Oh no, not at all. Right? Yeah, me neither. Never I'm... own another copy. No, because like my Grail changes. Because you yeah. get a Grail or something else you want. You know exactly. And I think if I got Showcase Twenty Two, or you know, I don't even have a Grail. I've been asked this before. I don't think I have a Grail. That's a weird thing to say. I need to get one. But well, like, you're gonna have one eventually. You just got to start going on I've, that hunt. That that's strong. That's what hunt. you say though. Once you once you get it, once you find it, and then it's like, okay, now what's the next one? Like, I, yeah, I got it. Now I need to find another one, and then another one, and then it just never ends. Mm. It's like a tattoo. Like one of them it needs to be important, but once you get more than one, then then they don't matter anymore. Okay, here's a question. Um, nice. Comics with Bueller wants to know what's your favorite YouTube show? Oh, the BS show, man. <laughs> the BS show. I just uh, posted a photo on my Instagram actually with me uh, on the show. I was definitely live on the show with both of you. You might not have noticed, but I was totally there, right next to Sam the whole time. That's right. I posted. Um, we were watching the BS show as we were sorting comic books. Mm-hmm. Um, love the BS show. Shout out uh, so Comics good. with Bueller and Sam's Tangled Web. They put on a great show. Pretty much weekly, they alternate uh, alternate uh, appearances channels? on you know, different channels. B for Bueller, S for Sam. Exactly. BS show. Yeah, that's so where that comes quality from. content. Check it out. That that would be definitely, oh, definitely the best show in the entire universe. Okay, here. Um, let's see here. Um, how can we achieve world peace? Wild Oz wants to know. Ryan, I'll let you take mm. that. That's an easy one. But that's easy. Yeah. I don't know. What's your thoughts on that, man? World peace. Mm. Probably has to do with. Doctor Manhattan. Just do what I just no. Do what I do. Back there. If you just if you just never leave the house, nobody ever goes outside. You just so stay inside. No one has any problems. Everyone stays inside. Everyone stays inside and reads comics. Yeah. <laughs> All right. World peace. World peace. That's one way. No to one do would it. get anything done, but you know, mm. no bad things would also get done because everyone would be reading comics. I'm glad that you got that question. Hmm? All right. I'm glad you got that question. What would you say, Tom? What would your answer be for oh, world I didn't get peace? Asked, uh, I, my my exactly. question. I mean, the answer would probably have to be something like Doctor Manhattan. Just. What? You know. Giant squid? Yeah, giant squid status. That's also know. an option. Yeah. Um, okay, this is uh, from Mahomi Eris. Hey. Eris um, over at Variant Comics. He wants to know, Buffy or Hellboy? Ooh. Um, I assume that's for you. Yeah, I'm assuming that's for me. Um, I would say Hellboy Comics because I am recently really enjoying Buffy in the Boom Studio run. The Hellmouth stuff? Yeah, it's so good. It's so different, and I'm going to be chatting about it on this week's podcast with Jeff. We just recorded it yeah. and get a little bit more in depth on it because Donnie Cates had some things to say this week about Buffy, and I had to jump into that. Yeah, drink, a, um, drink something because you said Donnie Cates. I know, for real. Let's do that. Um, but um, Buffy, the show over any Hellboy that's been made into an adaptation. Uh, Buffy, wow. the show, yeah, it's so good because you also get to include Angel in that because it's like the Whedon verse. So mm. kind of. Kind of a cop-out answer, but it's the truth. I would have said Hellboy because I have not experienced Buffy. It's such a good show. Um, uh, let's see here. Have you ever traveled to another country, like i.e. Canada, for a comic book? No. I don't think I've ever traveled to another country for a comic book. I'm trying to remember the last time I left the country. When was the last time you left the country? Whew. Probably Mexico or Canada for me. What was the, what's the furthest you've been? The furthest I've been? I think you've traveled. The Caribbean. The Caribbean? What for? Cruise. Nice. You went on a Caribbean cruise. Mm-hmm. There you go. It's been a long time, though. I feel like that's an office reference. The booze cruise? Are yeah. You talking about, or like a Sandals Jamaica situation? Something. Hmm. No, no, no. He's doing the, uh, it's Michael Scott. The, it's the dinner party. And right. he's trying to, he's Tom Cruise. He's like, my first name's Tom. And I go on a Caribbean cruise. <laughs> I don't remember that. <laughs> you don't remember that? <laughs> no. Nope. Ryan, the I office. The you got to watch again, the whole though. thing again. Come on. Okay. That's my punishment. It is your punishment. All right. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Um, <laughs> ooh, here. This is a good question from um, Ruby Batcave. It says, Tom King or Scott Snyder? Both. Dep- Depends on if they're writing. Are you talking Batman? Yeah. Batman, like Snyder. If, if you're asking who writes a better Batman comic, uh, I'm sorry, but Scott Snyder wins that. There you go. But I, I like both of them as both. writers. Okay. Got to get over there. <laughs> Anyone else really weirded out by the baby fishing scene in the new Watchmen? I don't know if you watched the most recent episode of Watchmen. No, I haven't. You know how um, Ozymandias, it's Ozymandias now. That's, yeah. that's been, oh, it is Ozymandias for yeah. sure. Yeah. I was kind of holding back because I didn't know for sure. I thought, you know, maybe it might be somebody else. It's him. 
There's a scene in the most recent episode where he takes a canoe out onto this lake with a, and there's a bunch of lanterns floating around. I haven't on the seen lake, it yet. And he just scoops babies out of the water, like live babies. He pulls them out of the water, takes them. Oh, because he's cloning things. I th- yeah, he takes them home and pops them in this like giant. Basically, you're a telling microwave. me the answer. Don't tell me anything. You, might, okay, don't, you should watch it, comic he, fam. I'm sorry that babies. he's uh, Ryan in a good way. Ah, come on. <laughs> watch Watchmen. Okay. Um, Vodline says if he Ooh. had a chance to ask Mignola for a commission, not Hellboy, what would you ask? Ooh, I can ask him for a commission. He'll do whatever I want. I would ask him probably for the prototype that he drew. That'd be, yeah, I think that'd be pretty Just cool. Just redraw the prototype? No, in a different way. But I would want the prototype. Like the prototype with Hellboy on the belt, but doing something unique, something different. Maybe like a um, homage to another Hellboy cover. But as the fake Hellboy Demon, like the other one that he wrote, he drew, or maybe not. Him. I don't know. I have to think about it. I'd have him do something Lovecrafty, like yeah. a Cthulhu drawing or something. He really likes the tentacle stuff, the Lovecraft. Yeah, it would be cool to like have both. Be like, yeah, I want you to do him, but then in the background, because this is my commission, I come up with whatever I want. That's right. You know, I want the tentacles and the demons and the, the haunted house. He always liked to draw. He likes to draw like the the buildings and stuff too. He's really big into like, you know, the detail on that. I All that, that negative guy. space. So so cool. All right, let's keep it rolling. Okay. Um, what's your most uh <laughs> what is your most valuable Donnie Cates book? <laughs> One you cherish cherish most. Um, that's from Wild Oz. And you know what? I put it up uh back here right now, Silver Surfer Black. That's but I, I put up say. issue one because I don't have issue five handy. But I probably put up number five if I have it um had it handy. I think we have one. I think I got one in my my pull list. I gave I you the variant for number four. Mm-hmm. Well, that's a giveaway. Though. But we're doing we're, it as we're a, giveaway. That a giveaway. That's in the most recent video. All right, let's keep it rolling. Next, next question. Uh, oh, what about Silver you? Surfer. What do you have? Silver Surfer have... Black too. All I have is Silver Surfer Black and the whole run of his Guardians so far. I haven't collected anything else Donnie Cates has done. So out of the stuff I have, I'd say Silver Surfer Black also. The whole, the whole run because I can't pick. It's so good. Okay. So good. Let's keep it rolling. Dun, 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 dun. Um, simple question. Let's see here. Tom, you guys always wear some great shirts. Um, you're wearing a Mark Jeweler shirt. I'm referring to the uh-huh. ads. Where did you get the oh, Mark Jeweler shirt? P.S. Comics with Comic Yoda. That's a great question. You must know where we get the where I got the Mark Jeweler shirt. You may actually see these um, more and more. There's a handful of people have been picking them up because they're our shirt. I designed it. He designed it. I did it with a little help, but yeah, it's our design. It's our shirt. You can go to ComicTom101.com/store, or you can just go to ComicTom101.store. Both links work. Oh, that's confusing. There's a link in the bio also that says to shirts. I'm so confused. Just go to our merch store on comictom 101com It's pretty okay. easy. That makes sense. That's, that's it. I got this shirt on rockstargames.com, but you know, I love them. I'll give them money for anything. There you go. Um, let's oh, new Star Wars movie or new Bloodshot movie? Star for Wars. me, Bloodshot. Star Wars. Yeah, you're you're big on the on Star Wars. I'm also Dude. really not big on Vin Diesel. Yeah. So I'm, you could ask me any other movie and and I might pick that one. Maybe what we should do is we should try to watch we get both of them so we can watch them at home after they come out mm-hmm. and then we play them at the same time That's and see what best. happens and see what kind of movie we can create together. I bet if we put one one ear of headphones on with Bloodshot and the and other one, one with Star Wars, with Star I was Wars, thinking the same thing. And then we have two screens in front of us like and just tape our eyeballs open like Clockwork Orange. And we watch both at the same time. That way we process them both. We save time. You got two ears? You got two eyes? It's brilliant. I'm glad we worked that out today. I don't know what we do. That's why I'm here. I'm here for the good ideas. You're always here with the good ideas, man. Um, let's see here. Thank you, Perry. Perry, you got it, man. Drop you in got links. It. Okay, drop in links. Drop in links. <laughs> okay, so let's see here. Uh, Home Slice One wants to know what your favorite fruit is, Ryan. Ooh. Come on, what's your favorite Ooh, fruit? That's a good question. All time favorite fruit. Pineapple. Pineapple's pretty good, but is it your favorite? I don't know. I've never thought about what my favorite fruit is. Hmm. I feel like I thought what my favorite. You know, I know something is. weird. You said pineapple, and it, my throat got a little like, mmm, because I kind of have a bad reaction to pineapple, and it kind of just got like just pineapples or pineapples on pizza. Are you one of those people? No, I don't mind. That's the weird thing. I don't. Pineapple's good. Yes. All right. I'm not super excited to eat pineapple. It's good in like drinks. Oh, mm-hmm. really? Overpowers it. I'm not against pineapple on pizza. I don't. I'm che- not either. You know what? I actually, do like is pineapple with. Like jalapenos. Sometimes I'll pizza. order Hawaiian pizza just because people hate pineapple on pizza. That way, nobody can steal my pizza. You like to troll people, don't you? Hmm? You like to troll people. Oh, I do. I'm a big troll. You're a big troll. You are. It's okay. But you know what? 
this is uh Norse Cali says pineapple on pizza is disgusting. I disagree. You just have to. It depends what's with it. See, and if me and Norse Cali got a pizza and I ordered pineapple, then he, you would be uh, you'd be screwed because it'd be all for me and you wouldn't get any. That's my strategy. <laughs> I'm selfish. Wooly uh, Klamath says favorite band. Favorite band. I've oh. seen you wear Streetlight Manifesto in your vids. Oh, that's true. I do have Streetlight Manifesto shirts because I'm a I like ska a lot, but. What's your favorite You're asking me. band, Ryan? Because I know uh, you love music. This is a weird thing. Ryan doesn't like um, sounds. When people <laughs> come, when people come home, I feel like a lot of people put music on in the background of their home. When Most they are of just the time, out. when humans get home, yes, they they kind of get, get into their comfy clothes. They put a music on mm-hmm. in their favorite CD, their tape cassette. They put it in their tape cassette player. They hit the rewind. They rewind their tape cassette. Of course. They hit play. Then they listen to music and they dance because they got to let go of the frustration. That's what I was told that humans do. But you don't do that. I don't do that. Why not? I'll put put YouTube on. You don't like music. I'll put a movie on. You'll put a movie on before music. Absolutely. I'll listen to music in the car. But here's some weird things. If you had to listen to... this This is a weird thing about Ryan, the community you may not know. If you had to listen to music, what would you listen to? Because I know there is some music that you do like. Oh, yes. It's just Absolutely. you can count on like one hand. So uh, it's got to be lively, lively That's like funk, funk music. Ryan loves yes, funk music. We've definitely bonded over our love for funk. We have bonded mm-hmm. very, very hard. Yeah, over funk music. Get down Saturday night. Exactly. Um, so you like funk, but what else? Because if you like funk, you know you like the bass line. Mm-hmm. So what kind of music do you also like? Hmm. Because I know of a band that we also bonded over. Oh, Red Hot Chili Peppers. That a lot of people don't like. A lot of people don't like the Red Hot Chili Peppers. But a lot of people do like. Sure. Red Hot Chili Peppers. Ryan loves his chilies. Sure. California Cation. Eh, not that album. Not the, not so much that album. No. You like uh, um, 21st Century. No. Also, Stadium also, Arcadium. Also not Stadium Arcadium. No? The one in between. Yeah, go on. You, he like, you like the weird stuff. I like the old chili peppers back, chili peppers. back when they were still funky too, and that's that's a whole other thing. <laughs> you like the crazy chili peppers? Yes. Okay. The Ryan. lively ones. But that's they, pretty much it, right? Oh, and you also like OG hip hop because of the game. Oh yeah, San Andreas. I, right? I got most of my music taste from Grand Theft Auto actually over the years. Is that pretty much what it is? It's is that depressing. your your passion for music has come directly from Grand Theft Auto mm-hmm. and the stations that you were able to save? That's true. Right. That's how I found funk music in the first place. Yeah. I guess my parents didn't like showing me music. Holy smokes, Ryan. Blame That's them. amazing. Okay. Um, let's see here. Ryan. Oh, this is good. Mm-hmm. I'm excited about this question. This is uh, Jack Attack Comics. That is good. Oh, wait, but he has exclamation points. It's Jack Attack Comics. He says, Ryan, if you had to choose, yeah, your choice. You had to choose the worst superpower ever to have. What would it be? What would be the worst superpower? I'm thinking like every time you sneeze, your body just turns into water. Like how about every time you sneeze, but the like a uh, part of your body turns to water that you didn't want to turn to water. No, your, your entire body. You turn, your entire, into, you turn into a puddle for like an hour. For an hour. Every sure. time you sneeze. Every time. So like, oh shoot. And then you turn into a puddle of water and then you, you, you form back you together. You somehow fight crime with that, I'm sure. Like if you gotta get under a door or something, and you sneeze. How are we gonna get in there? Well, we can get in there in an hour. No, you you sneeze, you turn to water for an hour, you slither under the door. You actually can control you kinda, yourself in the water form. Sure, why not? And Wasn't then, there a Disney show about that that, that she turned into a? No idea. That was like it was a Disney show, and that was her power. She's like she can just turn into liquid. She's like whoa. That's a crazy power. Just turn into like this. If you could go back liquid. and forth, that'd be kind of almost like Reed Richards style. You can you, you can ch- ch- change your body into whatever you want, I guess. But I can't remember. Involuntary. I just can't remember what the name of that show was. Could have been good. Man. Oh well. Oh well. The worst superpower: turning into liquid when you sneeze. It have to be something like that, like involuntary. You, involuntary. It just is a bummer, and because you know you'd be driving a lot of the time, and then you just turn to water and you. You can't drive. Can't drive. Oh, no. you can't do anything. You basically wouldn't be able to do much. No. Yeah. Or you just somehow deep sneeze yourself. Oh my goodness. Moving on. Moving on. Um, we have another question here. This is a good one here. I, I like this. Um, Allie Mack. That's it. Alex Mack. Do you remember that? Wow. No. That's crazy. <laughs> nice. Well done. I mean, how many shows are there like <laughs> superpowers? She turns to like liquid and just. I have no idea what that is. I'll have to That's look that up. so funny. It's been a long time since I've heard about that. Hmm. 
All right. Let's see here. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Um, let's keep it rolling. West Coast or East Coast? Obviously West Coast. What's your... That's where um, we are. Uh, Perry Comics says Ryan's music playlist in the Grand Theft Auto tr- soundtrack. Not GTA Five. Honestly, Vice City uh, has the best music, I think, out of all the Grand Theft Autos. Because it's 80s. Yeah. The 80s is a fantastic time for music. Oh, my goodness. Well, thank you so much, also, Comic Fam, for joining us today. Also not a fantastic time for music. No, not so much. Okay. Um, let's. Uh, we're going to bring this, this Q&A session to an end here pretty soon. Well put another last minute request if you have any any questions we can we can get to here um crime mystery recommendations though Ooh. Hmm. not so much hmm actually event leviathan has been pretty good so far but uh not that one not so much let's see crime mystery crime crime comics i'm thinking of everything from image that i've ever read that's crime related uh criminal is another good one uh ed brubaker Basically, anything Ed Brubaker and uh, Sean Phillips have done, they are a very good duo. They make very good crime stories. Jimmy's Bastards, kind of a crime story. It's a fun one. You had the fade out back there in the F box. I saw mm-hmm. that while you were organizing. The fade out is really good. That yeah. is an Ed Brubaker comic. I'm trying to think. What you know, else? Not a whole lot of... Uh, I mean, box. crime... I mean, Chew is kind of a crime story as well. I mean, it follows detectives. A lot of uh, Bendis' early comics were crime stuff. I haven't yes. read a lot of those, but his independent stuff before he got on with Marvel was all uh, was very crime heavy. Okay, okay. Let's see here. Um, Harley Half says, Bummer, you didn't answer any of my questions. Let's see if we can find the questions. Um, What'd you ask? Let's see here. What did um, Harley ha say? Let's see here. I don't miss you here, Harley. You see it? Hmm. Nope. We also have it switched. Nate Dog says Hydro Man. Hydro Man's dope. I don't know what that's about, what that was from, but we'll make sure to say how to Nate Dog. I love that name. <laughs> True. Me and my homies low. So I don't even I don't see your comment or his comment. Their comment. We have it also switched to top chat. Could be uh that might that might make a difference. Oh, you know what? I sh- shoot, I hate we when I do yet. that. I don't even know why that's an option. I it shouldn't be the standard option. I've been screwing that up. We've been all over the place probably because of that. They're like, why where are these comics comments you know, where are these the order? I wonder of all how this? many you don't see. How many how many does it cut out? I know, right? Oh my gosh, are we going to El Paso El Paso Comic Con? Nope. I'm not. Are you? Not so much? Okay. Who has the uh, best costume in comic books? Oh, Plastic Man. It's got like a Leotard. Why not? That's the best costume. I know. Satin right? tights? For real. G.I. <laughs> Joe. That's right. right? G.I. Joe. Um, most overrated mainstream hero is? Wolverine. Of course. Deadpool. I would, I'd probably put one of those two. Both of them. I don't think Wolverine's overrated. Harley though. Quinn. There's a lot of people who really enjoy Wolverine. I think Harley Quinn is a little overrated. I might not say overrated, but definitely overexposed. I don't think Harley Quinn's overrated. Be. I take that back. I'm seeing too much of those people. I don't, I don't like it. Try something new. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see here. Any beginner recommendations if I'm trying to get a friend into comics? I have learned through trying to force comics on people over the years that if somebody doesn't read comic books, that means they don't want to. They don't want superhero comics because that's what people think comic books are. So if you're trying to get somebody into comics who do- hasn't read them on their own yet, try something independent. Try a crime comic. Try a horror comic. Try something image. Try something that's not capes, that's not tights, that's not superheroes. You usually have better luck that way. Right. Most of the time, people who get into the superhero stuff that didn't, they didn't think they would. So you got to like get them those types of books. People think comic books and they think Avengers. They think X Men. They think Superman. They think Spider Man. They think, no, I don't want, I'll watch the movies. I'll, I'll do anything but read the comics. Otherwise, they would have read it already. Right. I feel like. So show them something that isn't a movie, something that isn't a superhero. Hellboy. Yeah. Sandman. Sandman typically does it. Yeah. Sandman's too much. It's I tough. Started, I read Sandman early in my comic career, and it turned me off. I haven't really? read it since. Oh, it geez. Too, I've had the opposite it was too effect, heavy. effect it was, for a lot of people. Yeah, it was... Yeah, something more, more easy to read, typically. Yeah, Sandman's very cerebral, and like... The first trades are hard difficult, to too, because it's hard to tell, like, with the pictures. Like, yeah. Im- the imagery is, is tough. Like, the art is you super You have to have detailed. a little bit more solid experience in the comic book universe, I think, before you could jump into Sandman. Harley... Haas says, I have the app. Will it get better? The Key Collector app seems a little bit limited to what you can look up. Um, the Key Collector app is being updated on a regular basis. So I recommend you check out the recently added tab right on the home screen because there's new comic books being added all the time. The other thing, I, I, for me anyway, whenever I go into Key Collector, I don't 
I'm also, I have a weird thing about typing things into search bars because I feel like if I type it, type it into a search bar, it's going to show up everywhere else on the internet for me. So for me, with Key Collector, I like going through the sections, like just scrolling down the homepage and all those different sections he has with the, the logos and the icons. There's a whole bunch of like going through categories stuff you can and find stuff in there. Yeah. Yeah. Pre like, you know, curated lists and everything. But right. what's nice is Key Collector has been put together with the thought of going after the books that you're going to be looking up the most that have value first. And then, you know, it's, it focuses on the keys, the ones that are actually worth your attention right now. As far as like a full database, like full database that for like cataloging your comics and things, I would imagine that that's to come, but that's a, that's a lot of cataloging, but there are thousands and thousands of comics already on there for you. But I don't even use it as a hunting tool. Honestly, I use key collector for the alerts. I love the alerts. I get the alerts on my phone and then just browsing, just reading the sections for like information. Yeah, learn a lot. I need to go hunting more is the, the moral of that story. I hate hunting because I go to Half Price Books and then everything I get has a stupid sticker on it. And then I got to peel the stickers off. <laughs> I got a whole pile in my room with just sticker comics. I believe it. I got to get some. I have like a huge pile of stickers I really got to get. Uh, it's a chore. Out. Um, let's see here. Let's see what we got. Do I have? Do you have anything good over there? What series would you like to see the most on the big screen from Wooly Klamath? Ooh. What series would I like to see on the big screen the most? Oh, that's a tough one. Big screen or little screen? Because honestly, most most comics I would prefer to see as TV shows than movies. Me too. Yeah. I think of like um, Umbrella Academy or The Boys have been some like the funnest shows I've seen adapted. Like they're different enough mm-hmm. that it makes it just like a whole new experience, but it, it stays true to the comic enough that makes me want to reread the comics as well. Green Lantern's getting a show. I, I might have said that Blackest Night or something like that, but something something else. That's not gonna happen. Yeah. <laughs> maybe maybe not. We don't know. We don't know. Um, let's see here. Um, hey Ryan, what's that book you're holding up there? Yeah, you're you're moving your books. Oh, what's yeah. going on over there? These are my polls. I got these today. These yeah. are my new comics from today. Just showing them off. All right. Let's see Hitman here. Agent Forty Seven versus Metal Gear Solid Snake. Oh, I don't know what's going on with that. Video games, man. I have never played either one. I haven't read. I haven't read. read I haven't played either well, one. Well, I, I want to play. I really wanted to play Metal Gear for the longest time. I just need to get like a collection. I don't know if that exists, but I'm I'm a completionist, so I feel like I got to start from the beginning with those somehow. And that's just a a task I have never even started. One day. Ooh, this is cool. Um, Perik, what does that say? I can't pay, pay it. Payroll? Payroll Co. Payroll Co. I got a Captain America one annual signed by Jack Kirby. That's pretty cool. Hang on to that one. Ooh, let's see here. Um, dun, 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 dun. um let's see here. We need Die on Netflix. Yes, we do. Die would actually be a really good choice for a series. Good point. Let's see here. Oh, this is from uh, Lori. Uh, Roscoe says, Tom, you were asking the comic fam about um, a comic that means something to them, even if it's not in the best condition or worth a lot, like a comic book that, that she owns or that they own, just like if there's a story or something. She says, I still have my first comic from the dentist office. That's pretty cool. What a good idea. Yeah. The dentist put comics out instead of magazines or right. in addition to magazines? Yeah, I try to do that. Um, there's been a few times in my life where I have an opportunity to leave comics somewhere or to give them for someone to take to their work or to like a doctor's office or something. I just like I put something together. There's a neighbor you know? at my apartment complex who has a car that's just covered with Batman stuff. And I really want to just like put a Batman comic under their windshield wiper. But like, I feel like <laughs> that's, that's awesome. creepy and weird. <laughs> also, I kind of <laughs> I don't know what to give them or if I want to give away anything like that. Um, oh, and what is yours? Um, I do, you know, I have a comic book that is, well, actually a handful. There's a couple comics on the set right now that are from Comic Karma. Like people have sent in oh, yeah. and said, hey, this is for you, Tom, as a gift. Um, and some of these are, are you know, f- are some of those. Um, the Police Comics is kind of one of them. has a really cool story about where it came from. I've told that on the podcast before. Um, but another really cool one is The 30 Days of Night, signed by Ben Templesmith. Big fan of him. And... Geez, you know, I got a copy back here of this uh, Mortal Kombat, the Goro cover. It's one of like the early comic books I remember my dad buying me when I was a kid, but I lost it. I totally lost it. And one of the first gifts that I received in the mail from the comic book community was after talking about that on one of the shows, someone mailed it in. That's 
Who does that? That's I know. Too nice. So I was like, one of the things, like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna keep that forever. Like someone thought to say, and this was early. This was like we we, we have a very small channel. Yeah. But like, not our channel is bigger now, but but I mean, like we were fresh on YouTube. So someone sending anything in was was such a. It still is an amazing thing for me right now. But back then it was like extra, extra. Just how do you even know our channels on YouTube and exist? And you're listening to us, what? And yeah, it definitely was a uh, something I always remember. Favorite horror comic, dude. Okay, favorite horror comic, mm-hmm. all time horror. Oh, that's tough, man. There's like no favorite. How do you answer that? Yeah, is Hellboy horror? I do have Thirty Days a Night sitting right behind me. It's right. one of my all time favorite stories. It's right. it's three issues of Perfection. That's it. It's only three issues, I man. To read that. It's very short, and it's exact. You've seen the movie, right? I actually saw it in theaters. I yeah. didn't like it. It's actually you didn't like the movie. Uh, no, but you know me. You need to read the you what, read the three issues. What do I like? And what do you like? But dude, that comic right there, Dollhouse Family. Yep. How dope is that comic book? This is really good, actually. I did not mean to put that up here right as I asked about horror comics, but Dollhouse Family is a pretty good pick. I'm telling you, man. It's a little soon. Just uh, came out today, it's but really it's a really good. good horror comic. It's really good. I'm a really big fan of Severed by Scott Snyder. American just, Vampire? Just throwing that out there. American Vampire is pretty cool. Yeah. It's a good horror comic. What else? I don't even know. I can't think. Severed. Uh, Severed's really I said Severed. Severed's the one where the kid goes to find his dad, right? Yeah. The yeah, kid goes on the run and gets so good. taken in by this creepy old guy who's mm-hmm. not what he seems. Nope. It's really good. Yes. Definitely, definitely a recommendation. And I recommend Dollhouse. Um, this this book, I'm surprised, pleasantly surprised with how good that book is. And the ending to that book, I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm Where, in. Yeah, yeah. How can they how can they keep going after after an ending like oh that? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited Between about Between that book. and Basket of Heads, like I think both we've got a really good one two punch right now from Hill House. Dollhouse yeah. family is a little bit a little bit better if you ask me, but they're both awesome. Has Ryan seen the Joker yet? Heck yeah. Twice. I went and saw it by myself the other day because I'm one of those people. I love that movie. <laughs> oh my goodness! Thank you, comic fan, for joining us today. We just did a little little short Q and A. We're cleaning the like cleaning up the the set. We're getting comic books put up. We're going through planning out shows, and we thought, hey, this would be a good time to just connect with you. We do appreciate you joining us tonight, Ryan. Anything you want to say to the comic fan? I love you. I'm glad you're here. Yeah. I'm glad I'm here. This was really. This is normally when I'm waking up for work. Yeah, because you work at a hotel. I do. I work overnight, and I'm not normally here during during these times, so I'm glad I came over today. Where is Ryan's neck, Pat? Um, Ryan, boxers or briefs? Oh, man. Huh. Stone, stone cutter, Cam. He, he's got to know. Thanks, Cam. <laughs> Neither. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Fill that in how you will. How Let's does your here. recording scheduling work? How does your... Rec- yeah. Uh, do we shoot several episodes um, at once? Um, we try to, but not really. Typically we're pretty much like down to the wire. A lot of our content, we try to shoot for certain days to put out. So we have to record them a couple days in advance, unless it's the top 10, then that's on Thursdays. You know, we're putting that together, uh, right before, so we can get that out early Friday at some point. Yeah. For some people have, uh, some people have stupid schedules like myself and recording is kind of a do it when you can type situation. Ooh, most underrated or overrated artist and writer. I've tried to, I've about to end end the show, but then there's all these really good there's questions really that, good that, questions. that come up. Most, ah, uh, man, that feels mean. I know, right? Who's overrated? <laughs> Who's over? Most overrated or underrated writer? Um, how about? Oh wait, it says most underrated or overrated. I don't want to say overrated because I don't think anyone's really overrated. I think everyone has their merits for for their fandom. I mean, even like some of the artists that I don't care for, I understand why their art, why their fans yeah. enjoy them. Or the, some true. of the writers who are like, oh. Not very big on the writing, more they kind of lean more on the on the visuals. I I see the merit for that too, and why you would enjoy that instead. It's all up to people's personal preference, I guess. But underrated, Amy Chu has been writing Red Sonia. I'm seeing very little credit. Like she's she's getting credit, but like her Instagram, and she doesn't have nearly as many people that should be following her over there because she's just a fantastic writer. Yeah, she's really good, and she's doing such a great job with Red Sonia for so long. Um, uh, Merka and Delfo. Merka is really cool. Man, dude, what such an amazing artist. It's fantastic. Got to follow her on Instagram. She had a new series drop today. I didn't pick that up though. She did. And she's, um, she regularly like does sketches on Instagram mm-hmm. you can just see like what she's working on for the day of. And she does a lot of like private sketches that you would never see published. Like she's just, just wild stuff. And yeah. it's always, it's just like, it's a nice thing to be like, Oh wow. That's something unique. People something, can draw. Yeah. Like, like for real. And she's just always pumping out really great original content over there. Um, but yeah, I'd recommend um, both of the, both of them. It's good. Um, let's see here. Which artist have you wanted to meet, but haven't yet? Ooh, have you met any, yeah. Is there any artist that you want to meet, but you haven't yet? David Mack. 
Yeah. He's up there for me. Yeah, He's Max. my favorite artist right now. Yeah. I want to meet him. Yeah. Um, what is it? Is it Robert Hack? I don't know who that yeah, is. Yeah, uh, does the hack, hack variants. Oh. It's really cool. I don't know who that is. You can point it out for me. Yeah, this one. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. Um, is that the one I just filed? I feel like I just yeah, put just, that you, one you away. Did. You did. I have multiple copies of it. Okay. I just yeah. alphabetized that. <laughs> and if you pulled it out, I'm going to be so mad. Oh, my goodness. <sighs> good stuff. This is too good. I know. It's, I'm having fun. It could just never end. We just keep on going. Um, but but we but we got, we got to stop tonight. We're going to stop tonight. We need one more. We have one more? One, one more. more. Someone wants to know about the top 10, like question mark. We do a top 10 every Friday. How do you not, you know, that's, that's what I'm saying. We do a top 10 there's, every single Friday. There's not much more regular content that happens on this channel. That and the podcast. We just finished um, recording podcast 15 today. That's going to be released on Monday. So that's 15 episodes in, man. It's that's exciting. I feel like it. 15 episodes. That's how we roll. Do you have any Stan Lee stories? I wish. <laughs> we reported on the whole Kia Morgan thing last year. No personal stories. We haven't yeah, met him. I don't have any personal things yet. I never got to meet him. No, unfortunately not. Jeff did, though. Jeff met him? Yeah, Jeff's met him before. Of course he has. Pretty sure he's met him. Well, yeah, no, no, he has. Surprise me. He absolutely has. He told me he met him. Let's see here. All right. Comic fam. We're going to we're gonna. Um, call it a night. Cool. Um, I'm going to go home. And you, Yeah, is that right? Yeah, I'm going to try to go see the lighthouse. Let's see here. I don't know if I have time. What was that? I don't know if I have time. I'm you should go see it. It's probably passing. Gonna try to go see it. All right. Good luck. Thirty Comment minutes. Down. We're gonna see if we can get him out of here so he can go, uh, go peep the lighthouse. So good luck. I want to see, see how he's gonna do his Batman. Yeah, me too. I, I really want to see good. the lighthouse. Thanks for being here, comic fan. As always, geek responsibly. We do have a giveaway for today. We're gonna be back in a couple weeks, maybe with Ryan. I'm thinking maybe we'll like. I should do a Q&A with Russ maybe next, you know, and maybe gotta get like, Russ like a, on here more. maybe like every two weeks or something, you know, and can switch it out. I don't know, but we're doing a giveaway and I'm going to make sure to uh, have this one saved for the next Q&A. So look out for the next Q&A episode where we'll give this, uh, we'll do the announcement of who won this uh, ASM annual and we'll have a giveaway again for you in that next video because of what we do every single week. Yeah. Thanks for being here. Good times. Geek responsibly. Peace, Comic Fan.